Target setting as an employee. Think about your own goals and your manager's goals for you. Balance your career development with company interests. Training or tailored KPIs. KPIs equals key performance indicators. Training or tailored KPIs represent a considered action plan to achieve their, your goals. Work backwards from their, your goal to where you are now. Your manager should be able to provide some guidance. Performance management. If you are not delivering on your responsibilities, you may be put on a set time frame where your activities are closely monitored. This is a time for troubleshooting. Companies who implement performance management do this because they want their employees to succeed. Recruitment is expensive and time-consuming, it is much better to retrain an employee who really wants to succeed than to fire and rehire. Case Study Performance Review The Manager You have settled into your first management position and an appraisal season is coming. One team member has been performing well, overall, however, you feel that they need some work on attention to detail. In the past you have highlighted incomplete notes, unanswered emails and mistakes with grammar or spelling. These behaviors will hold them back. How do you proceed? The manager, your purpose. Draw a line in the sand. Separate what has happened. Outline what you expect from your employee. Set out new goals together. Pitfalls to avoid. Simply criticizing. Sentences starting with, or including, you. Not listening. Issue, incomplete notes. Simply criticizing. We've had discussions in the past about you logging incomplete notes and that there is information missing on the system. Go back over them, fix them and don't do it again. Supportive guidance. We've had discussions in the past about incomplete notes and missing information. To tackle this over the next four weeks, we'll be performing a random audit of 10 notes logged each week. This will be a short-term goal that we would like to see achieved. Incomplete notes, outcome after supportive guidance. The support and timeframe will help the employee to form a new good habit of logging complete notes while forgiving any transgressions in the past. Issue, unanswered emails. Simply criticizing. I've had a lot of complaints about you not answering emails promptly and I've brought it up with you several times. You need to work on this. Supportive guidance. Let's take a look at some time management strategies so we can introduce time blocks throughout the day specifically dedicated to responding to emails. Unanswered emails, outcome after supportive guidance. The criticism assumes that the employee simply isn't bothering to respond, whereas the guidance gives them a strategy to ensure they can keep up. Spelling and grammar. Simply criticizing. You frequently misspell words and don't use apostrophes correctly. You really need to pay more attention to what you are writing. You need to remember that sloppy communications reflect badly on us as a company. Supportive guidance. I feel that there will be a benefit in completing a spelling and grammar course. There are plenty of these courses available for free online, and I am authorizing the dedication of 30 minutes per day during normal working hours to focus on this. Spelling and grammar, outcome after supportive guidance. The criticism doesn't help the progression of the employee, whereas the guidance points them in the right direction and gives them time during their day to improve. It may not be directly contributing to the company's output, but will benefit the company in the long run as the employee will seem more professional to clients. Pitfalls to avoid, check. Note that in guidance the word you has been removed entirely. This is because you sentences put the other person on alert. 
In a performance review setting you is implied, so as a manager, you don't need to say it. This is a natural response that needs to be tempered by the manager. Check. Criticisms put the onus on the employee with no clear structure or support. Don't be Nike, just do it. Employees don't generally want to be underperforming. Guidance has a clear and measurable outcome. Good practices. Listening is the cornerstone of successful communication in any situation. If I can leave you with one piece of advice it would be to listen more than you talk. Don't assume, don't berate, don't talk down. Ask open questions, avoid questions that might yield yes, no answers. In conclusion. The most effective way to conduct a performance review is for the employee to identify areas where they need to improve. This is far more impactful than them just being told to do something by a manager. As a manager, you need to be an active listener. The key to an effective review lies in discussion.